Hey, I'm live. Hello, what's up, Domino community? How are you doing? I hope you're all having a fine Saturday. Um, I'm building my best Domino project in my new personal record right now. Uh, hopefully, there will be about thirty-two thousand dominoes when they first or when they when I finish it next week. Um, but thank you for joining the live stream. We're gonna do some live building. Uh, if you want to build with me, feel free or you know, you can ask questions in the chat. How's it going, Domino Noah, Langston Reese, K6 Dominoes, how are you? Awesome to see people here. Um, I also have a co-host on the line, uh, Michael from Stick Trick Domino Dude. Do you want to say hi, Michael? Yeah, hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm going to be on speakerphone today and reading off the comments and just helping out. Yes, thank you, Michael. And moderating the chat. Yep. So I'll be building and... Will kind of read the comments to me so I don't have to like keep looking up from building. Um, hey, Domino Shorts. Hello, everyone. Max Domino's nine. All right, let's let's get to building, I guess. Um, I'm probably gonna keep the camera here most of the time, but I'll, I'll show you just like a quick overview of the setup real quick before I even get into building so you can kind of get some context with the whole setup. I think I can turn my screen, right? Did that work? Yes. All right. You're gonna get a sneak peek tour of this. Um, let's, let's actually go over here. I'm gonna walk through the kitchen. I'm gonna go around, because if I try to walk over the spiral, that's not gonna work out well. Um, we got, it starts right now at this bridge. So, I'm just gonna like pan along. Maybe you can like kind of follow it. All right, here we go. All of this set up. I think there's 25,000 dominoes so far. It's the big spiral. I rebuilt the glass table like three times, finally. Um, big structure in the back. That's what I just finished the other day. We still got the glass shelves. And now over here, I'm in the blue section. So the idea is like, this is like the fire versus ice setup. I think that's, I think that's what I want to call it. Shout out to the person who suggested that name in the big spiral video. I can't remember who uh, suggested it, but I really liked that name. So we got the spiral in the middle. We got the hot colors over on this side. And then blues will be on this side along with purple. And, you know, I kind of wish that I could change these colors, but I already built it, so I'm not gonna, not gonna rebuild it. All right, let's go back. See, I I'm not gonna step over that, so we're gonna go through the kitchen again. And I have a very nice <clears throat> arrangement that I'm going to build over here. Okay, put me back on the tripod. Lily, could you, could you mute your phone so that I can listen to the, um, the video? Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay, I'm muted on my phone. Awesome. Okay, it's only like a second behind, so it'll, uh, it'll still work out. All right, that's good. Oh, wait, should I mute the live stream oh, on my phone? I hear it. Oh, I hear the, the echo of the live stream on your phone. Can you wear headphones? Oh, right. Sorry, I'll put headphones. Okay. <laughs> no worries. All right. Here we're going to go. And this is, this is very um, early for me to be doing a live stream, I guess. This is like very, like I just kind of woke up. <laughs> Had some eggs, had some salsa for breakfast. All right. <clears throat> Are you ready for questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for questions. Any good questions? Where is everyone from? I always love to see where people are, are building and watching from.
You still there, Michael? Uh, Eric Linton is from Philly. We got Oregon, Boston. Nice. Massachusetts, Korea. Ooh, Korea. That's super cool. All over the world. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, the 28 dominoes challenge is still going on right now. So if you haven't submitted an entry, you can set up 28 dominoes. We'll compile the videos into a big compilation, and the winner will get a new H5 domino creation set. So just post your video using the hashtag H5 domino community. I've, I've looked through some of them, not all of them, but um, we'll, we'll get through them. And they, they've been really, really awesome to see so far. Like, you don't need a lot of dominoes to make something pretty unique. And especially with tape and string, like that I feel like opens up a whole, whole new element when you're building dominoes. <clears throat> so I'm using the tape trick again. All right, uh, Domino Builder ITZ Alex Gaming. field trip okay we're gonna we're gonna go through here you're gonna see the secret tutorial room here we are da, 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 da. okay this is where I've been filming all the tutorials but I have like <laughs> just like so many stacked up boxes here h5 dominant creations comes with a hundred dominoes so there's 25 white, 25 blue, 25 yellow, 25 red, precision engineered dominoes. And like, check this out. It just like, it's so perfect. Oh my God, I can't even get over. We've made the perfect domino. 
Like, look. And it has such a nice texture, too. I'm going to go through more of this in, in videos, but, like, we've, we've really spent a lot of time developing the right kind of feel to the domino. So it's not super slippery. It won't, like, slide as much as other types of dominoes. Um, and it has really square edges, so you can build much taller structures with it. And then you have the two half bridges. All of this uh, information, by the way, if you go to my website, hevish5.com slash buy dominoes, which I believe it's the first link in the description too. Um, there's all the info about it, but they'll be available uh, in early August, which is like literally two weeks or something. So crazy. Uh, they'll be available at Walmart, walmart.com, and on Amazon. So stay tuned. We got the two half bridges, and then we have three sizes of field starters. So you can make like a really long bridge if you wanted, like that. Or you can just set them up like this and have like 10 domino rows fall at once. Or, you know what's really cool? You can even set them up this way. So it also works as like a small to large set. And you just knock down. And then there's, there's these. What was that? Sorry, Michael, I didn't hear you. You're in the other room. Oh, am I better now? Okay. That's what's in the set, so yeah. I'm super pumped. I, I hope people get the no, set. It's still, it's still going. Oh no. I don't know what to do about the audio. Wait, one sec. This is like, not good. It's not good? Wait, Michael, how does it sound now? Am I good? Uh, it's, it's still doing it. I mean, it's not like an echo, like a normal echo. Everything that you and I are saying is being repeated like 1.5 seconds later. That's weird. Wait, Domino says we can hear you fine. Ethan Klein says we can hear him fine. Is it on your end? Wait, everyone watching, does it sound all right? I don't think so. I'll refresh. Wait. Oh, they say it's good now. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. I, I think we're good. People say it's okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah, so once... Once, wow. Are we good? Yeah. Once the dominoes are out, like we're we're uh, set. We can we can build dominoes. Yeah, my head. That's weird. <clears throat> but I'm I'm super pumped to see what everyone comes Wait, up with. Wait, you the phone? No, you're still muted. going to be a public event given like the 
the state of the world. Hopefully things will be better by October. Um, but they, they were saying we could potentially live stream the event and maybe have like a really small audience there if people do want to come. But uh, we don't have any firm plans yet. However, uh, once I do find out information, I will put that on my website. Um, there's a page for events of like anything related to dominoes and chain reactions. So I will update that at headfish5.com slash events. I just figured out the problem. I had two tabs open. Oh, <laughs> that could do it. <laughs> nice, Michael. Alrighty. Uh, why do you say H5 domino creations will be the highest quality dominoes? And it's from mine to 116. So, with the H5 dominoes, we have, we've really engineered this and gone through many iterations to make the perfect domino. <clears throat> so, if you look, let me, I'll do like a close up. I don't know if you can see this on a camera, but the the face of the domino has a very, very fine like texture to it. It doesn't like raise up or anything. It's still smooth, but it's not the bare domino material. And the bare, bare domino material is what makes it somewhat slippery. And that'll give you like streak marks on it and weird like dents. But we've covered that with this special texture. So it's really, really smooth. And that actually uh, grips the surface of the floor a little bit better so it doesn't slide as much. Uh, we've also improved uh, the mold dots. So like other kinds of dominoes, you'll see like a bright white dot on the side. But with these, um, we've kind of covered that with the color of the domino. So it looks more uniform in its color. The edges are also super, super square. So you're not gonna have any issues with like building tall things, I guess. It's gonna be really easy to balance. And um, overall, like it's, we've made them all very, very consistent. So the colors are gonna be set in stone. Um, we're not gonna have any varying issues with that. And I almost feel like consistency in a domino is probably the mo most important part on top of quality. So that's what we've been going for with these dominoes. Yeah, I can say from personal experience, I've had the dominoes uh, for a little bit now, uh, some prototypes, and they're absolutely amazing. Uh, I've especially enjoyed the accessories, strangely enough, since I don't have access to really good bridges. And uh, everyone really should buy them because they are easily the best domino I've ever had. Wow, Michael. That means a lot. Thank you. And he was not paid to say that. He, he has a, a few early samples because he won the um, ultimate domino battle. All right, Jackster and Gavinator say, can the Incredible Science Machine team come back, please? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to come back. Like, that's more of a seed process thing. So I think he's, he's changing events. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day it'll come back, but with a different name. Especially like a deep royal, like pure blue, like this one. This is this is my new favorite domino color, and I, I'm not just saying that because it's like my domino. I just I just love this color. How about you, Michael? What's yours? Hmm. Uh, for sentimental reasons, probably orange. 
orange just because of zeal, but uh, it's, it's actually blue too. Yeah. Nice. Hey, that's my favorite color combo though, orange and blue. Alright, Bert Reyes asks, how many times did your project fall? Please tell. Oh man, um, I've had a few, few fails in this project. Like, the glass stable fell like three times, and you'll see this in the time lapse. I'm probably going to post a full time lapse video next week once the floor is covered. Um, I had a few, like, small fails here and there, like random lines. There was a tower over here that fell randomly and then I just had to rebuild it. Um, but it hasn't been too bad. Not on wood. Um, the initial release will be in the USA, Canada, and the UK, but in time we will have a more global release. Um, so just just wait in time. Uh, we should have the downloads available worldwide, but I I will have more information as time goes on. Oh man, 
And music is a whole, like, I don't even know. I have a whole tab of copyright free music. Like, it's just usually a bunch of YouTube channels that make copyright free stuff. Or, I don't know, you, you can probably search online, but there's a ton of different artists out there. Like, just make sure it's, it's like royalty free, you can have the right uh, licenses to monetize or whatever. But, uh, like, I know NCS is probably used a lot. Or, like, some underground EDM artists. this but I never really know because it it keeps changing there's just so many good tricks honestly I think right now my favorite trick is the tape trick because I've literally used it like 50 times in this setup and this project right now has one two three four five six already in it so I would say the tape trick is so chaotic like I've had the channel since I was like nine <laughs> so I'm subscribed to over a thousand channels on Hevish 5 and I do not like I do not really use the subscription feed on Hevish 5 it's just kind of a mess at this point so yeah that's why I've started using H5 Dominant Community to uh, subscribe to people that like I know that I want to see their stuff and not be like spam with random videos that I subscribed to when I was nine years old. <laughs> Does that make sense? How many of you watching remember when it was Hevish 5 Extras? Once it goes, it just it's kind of done. All right, Jackson Examinator asked probably the best question yet. What made you do the really ugly frog video? <laughs> oh yeah, again, I was probably like ten years old. <laughs> was not really supposed to be on YouTube at that time, but I went to a museum, and there's this this giant frog. Um, on on display, all all you OG people like if you search my channel, it's called Really Ugly Frog. It's like the only non-dominant video on my channel on Hevish Five, and it's just super random. Um, but I had this random clip, and you know, just me being ten years old is like, let's upload this to YouTube. Maybe I don't know. Maybe people will like it. <laughs> so I just uploaded it. And, 
I just kept it there because it's kind of funny. <laughs> like you see all these domino videos and it's just like really ugly floor. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the meme of my channel. Stacy Lim asks, I mean she didn't ask, uh, but she says, I just can't believe I'm talking to a domino builder. This is insane. That's not insane. having fun. This, this is a very normal, normal occurrence. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, a bunch of people are asking, uh, where will you be announcing the winner for your contest? So, once the... I guess I mean when. Yeah, yeah. When the video is live, the official compilation. I'll say it at the end of that video. Um, I believe I'll be posting that on H5 Found the Community on August 1st. So just stay tuned for that. Donna Dong asks, what was your first reaction when Insane Donna Tricks and the Amazing Trouble Spiral went viral? Huh. My first reaction is like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> they're getting so many views so fast. Like, it's kind of hard to comprehend that. So I'm just kind of mind blown. Although I was probably more mind blown when the insane Domino Chicks video went viral because that was my first one. Yeah, I think that's great. I personally don't have the time right now, but I think that's an awesome idea. And if anyone wants to do a project like that, like go for it. I think that's great to recognize all the people who are helping in this weird situation and saving lives. So I'm, I'm curious for everyone who's watching. Uh, do you have a favorite kind of structure? Ask Space Lewin. Okay, I'll, I'll answer that first. My favorite structure? Um, right now, I'm really liking the octo technique, whether that's the octo wall or octo cube. I've been experimenting a lot with those different types of shapes. And I like how not, um, how you don't need to be as precise with the octo wall technique as you do with a normal wall. So I've been I've been really liking that. But I want to ask everyone who's watching, um, how many of you Here. build dominoes? Like put that in the comments. And if you do build dominoes, how many dominoes do you have? Becca's website in a while, so I don't think I knew that I was on there, but I will definitely check that out. Thank you for letting me know. For those who don't
don't know box bucket. It's like the OG Domino. Some people have like 500, 1500. Nice, nice. 5,000, 1,000. It goes as low as 100. Domino Noah has 11,500. Wow. That's a lot of dominoes. And of course, Beat Gold has 35k or something like that. Oof. Man, of those collections. It's funny, like, I literally. It definitely goes multiple ways, but uh, in my experience, <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's what you do with the dominoes that you have, not really how many dominoes you have. Like, for example, Capilomino, he doesn't use a lot of dominoes in his videos, but every single thing that he posts is like pure genius. Like, I don't know how he thinks about those ideas, but it, it shows you don't need a ton of dominoes. Just a good view. Um, a lot of people are also asking, what trick are you building right now? So let me, I'll give a little close up of this. Hold on. Okay. Got to turn the camera. All right. So I'm building a, I don't even know what to call this, but it's a bunch of tape tricks. Um, and it's kind of like on a fall, like a field. So like this would be like one row of the field. It's gonna start down here and then this clear line will go up like that. And it'll swing back all of these in a U like in this way. So we'll have this effect of like U, 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 which is like little waves going left to right. And it'll be sort of staggered as the line travels from the bottom to the top. And I've, I've left some room yeah, here this one. for the tape trick to kind of go in without interfering with the next line. I don't know how I thought of this, but it just like kind of came to me on the spot. Okay. Also a question for everyone watching. What kind of content would you like to see on this H5 Domino community channel besides tutorials and besides behind the scenes and besides Domino Deep Dive? Look, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear. We can definitely do more. We so the collaborative community compilations we were originally gonna do like two a year to make it like kind of special because I feel like if we have too many it could get repetitive and people just like wouldn't participate. But if people really want more, we could we could up that. We could make more per year. And especially with um Oh, yeah, fail compilations. See, I, I'll, I'll definitely post that on Hemish 5 because people really like fail compilations, whether that's, like, the dominoes stopping when they weren't supposed to or me accidentally knocking it down. Um, however, I do think at some point I'm going to run out of fails to post. Like, I have to, like, kind of, uh, like, wait to post them because I know that I want to post another fail video and I'm going to run out of content. So I think that I do have another fail video that I should post this year, but I need to get all the clips for that. 
However, I don't have like a ton of fail footage where I'm building and it fails because I don't usually have a camera rolling 24 seven. So those are more difficult to make because I just don't have that footage. But I, I'm totally with you. People love the fail videos and I will definitely make more of that. Yeah. Nobody really wants to fail, but it happens there. It's part of the process. Alright, uh, uh, Eric Parsons says, I would love to learn more about the diversity of our, of our community members and how global the community is. That, that is a great answer. Yeah. Maybe we can, like, I don't know. You know how, um, the first collaborative community compilation, everyone like talked to the camera and they said what they liked most about Domino's. Maybe we could do something like that again, where it's not necessarily just focused on building, but like we get a chance to see the people in the community and like how they think about Domino's. Maybe something like that. But I, I totally agree. I think it's it's awesome that. Uh, Domino's is like pretty global for the most part, and it doesn't it doesn't matter where you're from. You can set something up and, and knock it down. All right, we've had a couple more people say that they want more Domino's deep dive, uh, but also uh, this is a strange one. They want more Domino pranks, like the one you did on your dad or on uh, Marcel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with pranks, um, well, like, I don't know who else I would prank, like, sure, I could prank my dad, but I feel like nothing's gonna live up to the April Fool's Day prank, like, that one was just, it was too good. I don't know. Unless we like, uh, we probably can't do this now, but went up to strangers and we're like, do you want to, you want to knock down the setup? And then they like accidentally knock it down. They're like, I don't know. No, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Okay, I have a question for everyone listening. What is your favorite part about being in this community? Let me know. Alright, favorite part of being in the H5 community, y'all. I'll be reading those answers out. There's a new, um, like, VidCon type of event called uh, Clamor Live, I believe, and I think I'll be at that. I think that's this August in California. I think I'll be there, but I, I can't confirm yet. But if you want to look it up, feel free. <laughs> it's kind of a weird time to be traveling, so I don't know.
While Michael's looking, um, yeah, meeting new new yeah, Domino sorry, friends and like a bunch of stuff that I did or something. <laughs> meeting new friends is probably one of my favorite parts too, because like I remember I first started building Domino's and I didn't know anyone in my real life who actually set up Domino's. So being able to connect with people who like understood what Sonomod was was so nice. Like I remember going to Domination and talking about Domino tricks and people would like converse with me and they, they would be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I think that's, that's fantastic. I'm definitely gonna try to do more to help connect other builders with each other. Um, but yeah, like just searching through the comments is a way that you can find new Domino channels or um, on Instagram if you search hashtag H5 Domino community. There seems to be a pretty good builder community there. the other videos made by other people, which is unfortunate, but, um, I don't know. We gotta, we gotta do what people like. super like polished video I guess which like it doesn't need to be but it might not fit the rest of the videos on the channel probably just hopped on now. rising up for the challenge. Alright, a bunch of people are asking, uh, what is the uh, price of your downloads in India? 
So, I don't know that the price changes based on the country. Like, I actually have no idea. But in the U.S. at least, the suggested retail price is $24.99. But all the information will be um, at hevish5.com slash buydominoes. We'll have all, all the price info and what comes in the set there. Which, link is in the description as well. Bring you a little bit closer here. Slow progress. But uh, Jeff Stone okay. asks, are you looking for a new studio or are you happy with where you are now? Oh boy. So I'm I'm fine with my studio right now. Like it's just the side of my house. Like I'd love to get a bigger studio at some point, but right now, um, I don't know that I like build enough projects to warrant a studio which sounds bad like the studio made a lot of sense during my gap year because I was just making as many videos as I could but now that I don't have like videos in the can anymore or a weekly upload schedule um I don't know if I need that big of a space like until I'm until I get to the point where I'm constantly running out of room for every project that I do, then I'll start looking, but I'm not there yet. Yeah, like it is very convenient living here too, but also I, I don't like living and working in the same place. Like, you, you can't really get away from your work in that sense. Like, I'm always staring at what could be worked on, and it's hard for me to like have that separation between like work and actually living in my house, you know what I mean? Like, when I had my studio, I really enjoyed the commute, like just driving there and then driving back and knowing that like you're done building like you're gonna eat dinner now you're gonna have fun you're gonna talk to your parents like end of the day like that's it but now here it's like like I'm living alone in the house and it's like I'm just surrounded by work everywhere which like I love what I do which is great but sometimes it's like I need to put it away Dominoes or go back to college. Wait, would I rather would I rather stop I doing dominoes? Continue with the same situation, right? Would I rather stop doing dominoes or go back to college? I would rather. What? <laughs> well, like, okay. The thing is. My thing is dominoes. I, I could start posting other things on YouTube. <laughs> you know what? I could go full out on Behind the Five. Like, I would be so happy to do that. I just haven't had time. But I would love to do that. But I also really did like college. But I don't like, I didn't like doing all the schoolwork. I mean, it's just like part of it. But, you know. I think, I think I'd give up dominoes. What? No. <laughs> I think dominoes. Wait. Well, like, okay. <laughs> Hear me out. Though. If I went to college, I wouldn't even be able to build dominoes anyway. I wouldn't have time. So, then we're just going to get rid of dominoes okay, completely. Do a different one. It's, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I was going really deep into that. I'm 
gonna move it over here. There we go. We're safe. I really like that question, would you rather this or that? It makes you think. Yes, in the future. We'll have uh, kits where there are like refills of colors that you can buy individually. So you will not be like forced to buy an accessory with it if you do not want to. But that will come in time. The first step is just the starter set to get people into building. And then from there, we can expand what you Where do you get your design ideas? Do you have something that inspires you in a lot of your design? Design ideas? Um, I guess I'm, I'm inspired by the world. Is that like a cheesy answer to say? Like, I don't know, sometimes I'll just see something in my day to day and it'll remind me of down nose or it'll, it'll remind me of a certain kind of motion that I could kind of replicate in dominoes. I also get a lot of inspiration just searching through Google for random images and seeing like, oh, that would be actually pretty cool in a domino design. Or just watching a bunch of videos. Like, it just depends, is domino art still going to be a thing? Like, is it just a phase now, or is it, like, going to become the next, like, Lego art, you know? I think it could. That feels weird, but cool, but I don't know. So too. Uh, there's a bunch of people who are saying, "Please never stop building," because of that question. <laughs> don't don't worry. I do not plan on stopping building dominoes. I think the only time I'll like stop is when I like physically can't sit on the floor and build dominoes, which hopefully that won't happen for a while. But I mean. As I age, it'll happen eventually. Just gotta keep healthy. Eventually, we should have like every color in the color palette, so just stay tuned. Everything will come in time. We're slowly rolling things out. call it uh, something to do with fire versus ice. Somebody commented that on the spiral video that I posted a few weeks ago, and I really liked it. The whole setup kind of follows that 
color scheme where like the left side is all the hot fire colors and then the right side is the cool colors and then the middle is the spiral which is like a combination of both. So I'll play around with that, that phrase. Yes, this will be my new personal Dahmer record for the most dominoes I've set up by myself. I don't know actually if I'm going to be able to fit everything in here, but we're going to okay, so see. I hope, uh, that is included in the title somewhere because I feel like yeah. that special ace would get a little bit of clicks. Yeah, like, like new personal record, new record. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Oh, I was just saying, like, putting new record in the title, is that what you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's more like getting at the clicks than fire and ice. I think that's kind of obscure. Seems like a theme setup, but it's not really a theme setup. Yeah, we'll see. I don't really know yet. I'm just focusing on building right now. That's the main priority. And then once I get to editing, I'll start thinking about titles. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Domino Dog asks, what will be the next trick for the how to make tutorial series on the H5 Domino community channel? Hmm, I'm actually not sure yet. I haven't filmed um, more tutorials yet. I plan to go through the whole uh, tutorial request spreadsheet and kind of make a list of which ones we want to do next. Um, I'm also trying to decide if, like, should I, should I go in order of, like, easy domino tricks? Like, like, I could do a whole video about how to make a domino line and then how to make a safety app and then how to make a domino turn. Which like would make sense for people starting out, but do you guys think that would be boring on the channel? Like if you already know how to make a domino line, like maybe you'll learn something from it because I explain it in a weird way, or I don't know, in a different way, I guess. Because I I don't want to like I don't want people to get tuned out by the tutorials if they are already a builder. Like I still want them to be able to learn something from it, so I want to like balance the fun tricks, like the tape trick, with the more standard, like, uh, tutorials of how to build. It's just right now, because the set's coming out, I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of people who don't build dominoes who are just getting into it, so, I don't know. Would you guys watch, like, the really easy tutorials, even if you know how to build? I'll try to be detailed enough that there's still new information in it that you might not I think know. this is definitely uh, something to that idea of uh, just doing like a little, sorry. Oh, go ahead, Michael. I'm telling you, now there's like a three second delay. There used to be a one second delay. Oh, that's weird. What are you saying, Michael? Uh, I think there's definitely something to the idea of uh, making basically a seminar, a little course in basic dominoes. Uh, I've, been, I've been considering making something like that, especially for fanatic art, like in the same situation that the fanatic game did tutorials a couple of years ago. Uh, going into detail and then making more as it as it you know continues on and builds upon itself. Yeah, I've actually started like outlining a whole tutorial course, like starting from the very beginning to the more complex structures. So I could post stuff in that order. I just don't know if people would watch that. 
Maybe they would. Does it make sense to do it in order, or just go based off of like the popularity of what people are asking? Uh, there's a decent amount of people in the chat that are into it. They like that idea? Okay. That's good to know. I think that uh, this might also work better for overall tutorials, because if anyone searches how to build dominoes just in general, maybe that'll be the video that comes up more than anything. That is true. That is true. I do find that tutorial videos, they tend to do pretty well because people are searching that stuff. As opposed to like specific dominoes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also like somewhat worried because people always ask me how to build structures, but I I almost feel like uh, you shouldn't Sorry. build a structure until you're like pretty far into building dominoes. Like structures are more complex than people might think in terms of how precise they need to be. And I worry that if people start building structures too soon, they might become frustrated with it because it's it's a very like complex kind of build compared to a line or a triangle, if that makes sense. I don't know. Just random thoughts that I have. So, uh, I don't know, like, right now, but it's definitely on my mind. For now, we're going to start with the main, like, solid colors, and then after that, if it does well, we can branch out. Everything is kind of, like, contingent on how well things do, so, like, if people will actually buy the dominoes, like, they're going to be super happy. We can make many more products. So, get the dominoes. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It just it feels weird saying that, but I hope people like it. I hope people use it. Again, more information is at heavishtrive.com slash buy dominoes. Link is in the description. And uh, it's the truth that we want to build up this incredible brand with uh, all that we could ever want. Gotta buy it. Yep. And like, if you're from the U.S., you can literally go into a Walmart, go to the toy section, get it off the shelf, purchase it, and bring it home then and there. Like, once they're out, they're in Walmart. So like, I definitely recommend, uh, if, if there's one near you, you can get it then. No shipping. <laughs> Wear a mask though, be safe. Smiley Peace Fun has joined the chat, and uh, JJ asks, how many dominoes do you put in a safety gap? Or how many dominoes do you leave out in a safety gap? First of all, hello, Joel. Um, I take out about five dominoes in safety gap. Typically. But test it. Like, don't quote me on that because some surfaces could be really slippery and you might need to take out six. Personally, I do six, but five probably works. spirals going at once, right? Or like in and out four times?
My, my list of things to build right now is, is pretty long. Um, so it could be a while. Right, I'm going to try to switch uh, audios now. Yeah, my, my list of things to build is very long. Can, so. can you unmute? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Michael, you're unmuted. Uh, thank you. No problem. I think we'll probably live stream for like, maybe like 20 more minutes, 15 minutes. We'll see how uh, that goes. I like 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just sitting here. I thought it was going to be much farther away. I started building this project in May, so it's been about two and a half months. And this is by far the longest domino project that I've ever built. So it's, it's taken the most time, it's going to have the most dominoes, and it's hopefully going to be my best setup yet. Like when this video goes live, next Saturday or the Saturday after that, like, please, if you can, share it with, like, five people you know, and, like, just spread the word. I would be, I would be so happy if you could do that. Yes, spread the word, y'all. Yeah. We gotta make this the next amazing triple spiral. Not really, but that would be cool. versus ice combination. Something about it, like the opposites, just pulls you in. A couple of people have also been asking, uh, when are you going to make another roof over machine? Huh. Uh, probably, oh, I don't want to put a date, but not this year. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe next. My list of things to build is very long. <laughs> and uh, machines are not like my forte, I guess. So that would probably take longer than usual, which means I need to really plan ahead if I want to make a big machine project. Yeah, that would be another good collab project if you ever can do that again. Yeah, that's true. next Sunday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So you got seven or eight more days. Yep, still got time, y'all. It's only twenty eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. And you can you can do multiple entries too. So if you have multiple setups, feel free to post those as well. Oh by the way, just a heads up for everyone on the stream. We'll be doing a huge H5 Domino Creations contest and probably giveaway in August. So stay tuned for even more ways to get involved. Should be pretty epic. but when I'm watching a screen link and the outline goes out and then the next line clearly doesn't follow that previous clip like it, the inline could like start from the top or it'll be a different color or like it's a different part of the room where you can see like that that was not connected to the other clip I don't know something about that it's just like now we know like we found out your secret it's not real <laughs> Which, like, obviously it's a screen link, but it's like, don't point it out like that, you know? It's a good 
question. So for for this setup, um, for this trick in particular, because they're curved, I don't want the dominoes to slide out and potentially hit a line next to it early. So putting them closer together prevents them from like moving all over the place on the floor. And it's actually more reliable the more close you set them up. Because otherwise, if it's like, it's like that far apart, like, yeah, it could work, but it's more reliable because if it's closer, because it's just right in front of the domino. This project in particular has to be pretty precise because everything is the same U shape. So I'm trying to make sure the curves and the spacing looks really even and consistent. so much for watching. What was the channel? In India. Uh, Bindia Goel. I don't know. Bindia Goel. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't pronounce it. There will be, hopefully, 32,000 dominoes by the time I finish this project. And I'm aiming to topple it on Wednesday. Uh-oh, we got a couple of people on the chat that are confused with the title of Biggest Fan. Oh, Biggest what? Biggest Fan, yeah. Oh, actually, you're all wrong. My dad is my biggest fan. Domino's tile, like the dots on a domino? No, Domino's style. Oh. Okay. Hey, yeah, you're not, you don't need to repeat. Wait, sorry, what was the question? Do you think there is an objectively best domino style? No, because, like, that comes down to personal preference. So you can't really. You can have a favorite, but there's no like best. It'll change for everyone. If that makes sense. All right, uh, one four seven five three music and animation says, "Hello. So how can I use lots of colors in my steps without using a lot of each color? Because I don't have many of each color. So." Basically, how can I maximize the use of color when I don't have too many dominoes? Mm, I see. Um, I guess you could play around with, like, maybe some color patterns, like doing two red, two blue, two white, or something. Or like when you're building certain tricks, maybe you can highlight the part where there's a lot of motion in it. Like if you, you know how like with the tape trick, for example, it uses two two dominoes, like if you made those the same color and you have that multiple times in your setup, that would highlight that the best. Um, but I don't know, I, I think using patterns can help a lot because it's like an even amount of dominoes spread out throughout the setup. Uh, I 
I think another small thing might be uh, go for bright colors as opposed to the dark colors if you have the option. Why do you say that? Um, I just think that the brighter colors stand out a lot more. Personally, the neon colors that I see, especially like, I mean, even at this point, there's tons of brightness everywhere. Mm -hmm. I see only a tiny bit of dark, and that's why it stands out. That's true. Let's see, there was a, there was a good question in there somewhere. Uh, uh, has a different person or uh, has had a different person ever destroyed your dominoes out of anger or by accident asks Jack's dominoes? Uh, out of anger or by accident? Yes, both. younger was like mad or, or something so they knocked something down holy moly yeah not fun but that never happened again <laughs> you gotta learn your lesson after the first time right yeah don't knock down other people's setups if it's an accident we'll forget it probably yep but if it's on purpose, like, come on, really? Don't do that. It's not a joke either. Like, don't even pretend to. Alright, uh, Bot asks, uh, I think it's an either or. Would you rather make collaborative projects or personal projects? Hmm. Well, I really like both. So... Wait, you said it was either or, or not? Oh, I think so. Okay. I mean, I think it's great to have a variety. Like, sometimes when you build a personal project, you have time to like, really think through ideas and kind of experiment on your own terms and time. But when you're building with other people, you also uh, are able to share ideas with that collaborator and come up with something really cool together. But also, it could somewhat be limiting um, just because you're not in control of the entire setup. But I really enjoy both. I think it's just a balance of the two. Uh, Leo Indonesian Mapping says, Hey Lily, do you watch Miss Universe to get color combinations for swimsuits and evening gowns? That's an interesting one. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what that is actually. Uh, it's the, um, Miss America Above the World pageant. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not familiar with that world. Uh, Jax DeCrow asks, how many people are in your family, and are they brothers or sisters? Yes. Uh, there are five people in my family. I have one brother and one sister, and a dog named Penny. Uh, yeah, I'm the youngest in my family. Do you, uh, G, uh, sorry, Gig asks, uh, do you look for or see toppling patterns in everyday objects? Like, what would the toppling pattern be if the tree fell in the forest and no one was there to see? Hmm. Mm. I like how you're thinking. When I imagine a tree falling in the forest, I imagine like it starts with one tree and then it's like a triangle field. Like if the branches are really wide, it kind of just like hits everything next to it, which like obviously wouldn't happen. But that's just like what I imagine when you say that. Um, I do, I do see motions in life. Like for example, the double in out switchback spiral that was inspired by emotion, not necessarily a design. I was just thinking of ways that like a line can travel. So like if they're on opposite sides of a spiral and they both go the same direction, it could go like this, but then wait, what if it just switches direction and goes like 
that, and then it does that again and again and again. And then it goes out that same way. That's kind of how it, it formed in my head, but it, it came from thinking about emotions and seeing emotions in, world, in the world. It's a really strange way of designing things. Like, you'd think it's very, like, um, visual in terms of things that you look at, like a design, like the art, like the, the color in it, or maybe a pattern that you see, but it's also a lot about seeing kinetics and like just looking at motion in different ways. stretch more. I don't stretch. That's bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. I actually, I do like some home workouts and some of them have stretches like built into it. Does that count? I don't know. Maybe. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to probably wrap up pretty soon. seen people in a while either, so this is, this is good. Yeah, this is a pretty good format. I feel like it's for doing it again on the phone. Awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. And everyone watching too, like, go check out Michael's channel. His link is in the description. Just take check down a dude. If you don't know his channel, he also makes Domino videos and occasionally kinetic art and Rube Goldberg machines, and it's pretty awesome. Go check it out. Yeah, check it out. And uh, anyone in the Rochester area, I am doing a domino camp, crazily enough. Uh, you can find information about that on my website at sticktrickdominodude.com. Uh, That's right. You can learn how to build dominoes by experts. And with a group, it's really, really fun. Yep. All right, let's see. A uh, couple more questions. Um, do, 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 do. Um, a bunch of people have been asking, um, thanking you for uh, the list. That's it? Alright. 
just gonna go up to the camera. I'll say, I'll say hi up close. Let me take yeah. this off the tripod. Okay. All right. Well, everyone, give this a like if you enjoy. I'm gonna keep this video probably public on H5 Downing Community, so if you missed part of the stream, you can watch it later on if you'd like. Um, this is what the setup looks like so far. Let me give you another overview. So, this is the left side. Glass table. This is what I've been working on right now. This is the spiral. And then all of that. Man, I'm getting so pumped for this one. Yeah, I hope it works. I really hope it works. I have no idea if it's going to work, but there's so many parts where I'm like, mm. but you know, you got to take risks and make it cool. So that's what we're going to do. Um, anyways, thank you so much to everyone for watching and hope you have a good weekend. Keep on building. If you haven't entered the contest yet, uh, well, it's not really a contest, but the 28 dominoes challenge, go give that a try. Set up your most uh, your, your coolest domino project with 28 dominoes and then share it on social media using the hashtag H5 domino community. Um, I'm going to finish this project. I got to like hardcore book it and build and the video should be up hopefully next Saturday or the Saturday after that. And if you want to learn more about H5 domino creations, which is my own line of precision dominoes, link is in the description as well. They'll be coming out in a very in a few weeks uh, in Walmart, Walmart.com, and Amazon. Super exciting! Tell all your friends like dominoes are getting legit now. And uh, yeah, subscribe to Michael. Link is in the description. Stick to Domino Dude. I think that's it. Anything you want to say, Michael? Um, thanks for most of the hatred in the chat, y'all. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to do this again sometime. Like, come on, buy those eighty-five dollar creations. Come on, August. <laughs> They're so epic. I've built them. Yes. Gone. Yes. Thank you, Michael. All right. Have a good day, everyone, and keep on building.